The government uh, objective of reducing the MMR and the IMR, that means the infant mortality rate and the maternal mortality rate, that was a big challenge for the entire this thing. So, what we thought was that is a better way of getting into is to get first into the clientele which is not registered. So most of the births that was coming from this category was not being registered. So we thought this is the best way to provide institutional delivery to them. So the first point was to give them institutional delivery. To provide them with the institutional delivery, you have to bring at a price which was affordable to them. So we gave them the affordable price. And the third part is that it has to be dignified. Just because they come from that category, they cannot be you know, given whatever they want. So the qualitative aspect was brought in. So these are the three things which we provided through Lifestream. The issue was very simple, how I could touch base with the actual pregnant woman. So there were different vehicles that we designed. One was, you know, directly going to their homes, catching them and trying to bring them to the hospital. Now the first thing that happened was, you know, you will definitely not come across to anybody who is new suddenly and particularly birth is certain thing which is so precious for them. So, what we did was, we had a first level contact at the house itself, where we went to their house and said, we will have a camp in your community. So, we organized a camp with our hospital doctors in their community, basically to introduce our doctors to the community, to their family members. So, in the family members, the decision makers also came into, you know, because there are two things. One is not only the pregnant woman is not necessarily the decision maker. It can be the mother-in-law, it can be the husband, it can be the mother, so many people. So, we brought them into that forum where they met the doctor and found out how good or how bad she is. The next stage was to bring that particular woman to our hospital. So, we provided them with a free antenatal checkup through the same doctor. So, you see... The known person from their home, step by step, brought them to the hospital. On the first day of the hospital, we provided them with some simple games, you know, with straws and other things. So they were out of the fear of hospital or, you know, hospital, you know, whatever can happen, you know, there's going to be an operation, surgery, whatever it is. So we took off the fear from them and the doctors were the monitors for them. So we created a platform which actually provoked them to start coming to us. Started off in Hyderabad. Uh, we started off with about 12 hospitals there and now we have started expanding. So the first, next hospital, 13th hospital has come in Vizac. We are doing two more hospitals in Vizac and the next phase is Bangalore. So Bangalore possibly we will be doing about five hospitals. Put together we are looking at 22 hospitals by 2016, December. As I said in 2005 we were only one hospital. Then 2009 we were six hospitals. 2000 12, we were 12 hospitals and today we are 13 hospitals. We are looking for another two now, right? We want to reach more deeper into the community. Frankly speaking, possibly we are starting uh, touching the peripheries because still there is a lot of fear in going into a private hospital of being looted. So we have to come, make them come out of it. They have to be fearless and we have to provide them with the fact that, you know, there is a necessity for a quality delivery and that quality delivery requires this much amount of money at least, which is definitely much, much less than the, you know, private nursing homes, but a little more than the private hospital, I mean, the government hospital, which does nothing. Though actually the government hospital says that it is free of cost, but it is not truly free of cost. There are a lot of incidentals in that. So we want to be there and provide that, this institution, you know, this thing. So this is the basic motto. Lifespring can only go up to say 100 hospitals in the next couple of years. But there is a necessity of a larger numbers. The capacity has to go multifold. So it is better to have regionals also, you know. Particularly Northeast is an area where most of us will not touch because of the di language diversity. So the son of the soil can create hospitals there and provide the institutional support. Also, they can also provide the maternity, qualitative service and registrations which is to be done. So these are some of the things which I would say that more and more entrepreneurs should come into the field and look at this. This is a very good social service which they can do and population is something which will never stop. Food and population, these are something which will keep on going forever.